This is Tanya's Twisted Tales, episode 16. This episode will focus on finding clothes and shoes when you have a unique body type. This is my closet, and here is most of my clothes. Being four foot tall and 80 some pounds, most people would think I would wear small sizes. That just depends. I am lucky I can wear off the rack and have not had to have someone needing to alter my clothes since middle school. For finding pants, it's not that hard as I wear a size 14 in girls. Not every size 14 is the same, however, and finding shorts is more of a daunting task. Most girls' shorts are very, very short, and it's just not my style. The shorts I like are usually plaid or one color. They usually go to my knees. Is that too much to ask? I have easily been wearing some of the same shorts for over 10 years. When a company stops making something that works for me, it's tough to find alternatives. Sometimes the thrift stores is the only place to find something. Luckily, children and young people grow out of their clothes really fast. So I can sometimes find stuff that's brand new. I don't like any of the clothes to be tight as it can restrict my breathing even more than it already is. My right hip is partially out of the socket and twisted up from scoliosis, making it hard for shirts to fit over the curve. I often wear men's shirts, sometimes in large sizes, to easily accommodate my uneven body. I have a short torso and very long arms and legs, and this can be another challenge. A lot of ladies' shirts are very skinny through the torso area, and I need the opposite. Sometimes I put pins in or around one side of the neck to keep it from being too stretchy as one shoulder is way above the other. Ladies talk about being curvy, but they aren't talking about this kind of curvy. My shirts are all in color order and consist of good old fashioned concert or music shirts, jerseys, and sports shirts, cartoon shirts, plaids, or just plain colored shirts. I buy a lot of clothes and donate a lot of clothes. Some I wear several years, some for just several months. I like to be comfortable over what looks good. After COVID-19, I like casual even more. As I have gotten older, I don't just sleep in my clothes but I cherish those PJs. Life's too short to care about how you look all the time. I prefer shorts and a t-shirt on a regular warm or hot day. During the colder months here in Wisconsin, I have to change it up a bit. Long sleeve thin shirt, a t-shirt over that, sweatpants. On special occasions, when I need to dress up, like going to a concert or something, I may even wear jeans these days. Again, this is a post-COVID world. Shoes is something frustrating. Sometimes I wear the same pair for a year or two. My shoe has a big old lift attached to the bottom of the right foot. I can't just buy any pair. They have to have a certain bottom that's soft so they can add the lift by unpeeling the bottom, add the lift, glue it all back together. Insurance only pays for one pair per year. Often, if I can find pairs that work, I buy a few pairs and slowly have a lift added as I get to that pair or pay out of pocket for the lift. I may buy a shoe I won't end up wearing for two or three years. In high school, I could not find anything that worked, so I wore 
the same old red shoes for two years straight. I have chronic foot pain, so having shoes that work is essential. At home, I can get away with Crocs and things around the house, but those don't support my high arches and leg discrepancy. As my right leg looks much shorter, but that is just gravity working with my hip being tilted so far up creating a very uneven walk and standing motion. This lift helps not put as much wear and tear on my body. I have had a shoe lift most of my life and it was really depressing as a kid. Seeing cool shoes or cool themes or brands you can't wear any of it. So when I find cool bright shoes that work I'm not one to even think twice before buying it. In middle school, I had the coolest teal shoes my mom found somewhere. During my 11th and 12th year of high school, I wore this killer red Tommy Hilfiger shoes. During my adult life, I had a nice run with the kangaroo shoes, but they are almost impossible to get now. New Balance I've had a few times and a few different pairs. More brands need to make more shoes for those with special needs. But then again, we are not the majority and we all have such different needs. Just because I'm four foot does not mean I have small feet. My mother and I wear the same size six and a half adult women's shoes. I have big feet compared to my height due to the scoliosis, the surgeries and the illnesses while growing up and the curved spine all stunting my growth, and not some sort of genetic issue. It was estimated that I was supposed to be on a taller side if nothing had gone wrong. This is Tanya's Twisted Tales, episode number 16 on What's in My Closet. Don't forget to subscribe, share, or tell a friend. We can all learn from each other.